point. Yeah. Um, one other thing, I know it's early days, but Warhammer, I mean, there's nothing more close to your heart than this. I know this. That is true. There are a few other things. Uh, well, yes. I yes, mean, uh, yeah. how... Professionally speaking. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I have Even a heart that. outside yeah. of work. <laughs> he does. Mm. He does. Yeah. But it must be so exciting to be able to actually, like, dive into this world and be the one, one of the ones that is just steering the ship and figuring out what the world you want to create is on film and TV. What's this experience been like so far? Um, it is the greatest privilege of my professional career to have this opportunity. Uh, I I can't say too much again. It's early days still. But to have this opportunity to bring it to the screen and be at the tiller so it can be faithful is is key to me. And it's, it's, this is the stuff I've, I've been dealing with since I was a kid. Yeah. It's this sort of is is the stuff I, I spend my free time daydreaming about yep. as an adult as well and I get to bring it into life and th there is there is no greater reason than I join the industry than doing something like this and uh, I'm I'm very, very happy to be here have you tried to get Matthew into Warhammer or gaming at all no not gaming yet. I love gaming wouldn't mean gaming at all but oh. um but we've spoken yeah I'd, hey, listen, I'd love, I'd, I said I'd work with Henry in lots of different ways. Okay. Yeah, watch your space. I am absolutely loving Henry doing press tours again with all the projects that are going on. We're getting a little bit more information with Warhammer sneaking in in these interviews. That interview was from Josh Horowitz. I'll include the link to um, that in the description of this video, so you can go and check it out. They talk that, about that little segment of Warhammer. There's Highlander in there, and of course, all the other projects that Henry's doing. I just want to focus on that little snippet of Henry and what he talked about, because even though it was small in detail, I think there is a lot to decode from it. Straight away, the interviewer asks Henry, what's it like leading this ship forward? For those people who don't know, Henry is one of the big wigs now. He's an executive producer, a part of what's ever going to happen with TVs and movies with Warhammer and Amazon. And he answers with the greatest response I could fathom, and that is, it's the greatest privilege he's ever come across. This is a chap who's played like Superman and like, you know, starred in some like massive, huge films. And he's talking about Warhammer as that like, this is the biggest privilege. This is like the biggest thing I'm ever going to be a part of that I'm ever going to do. Warhammer, not, you know, D, I was going to call it Marvel then, not DC, not Superman, you know, Warhammer. This is, this is a fantastic response because there's people out there and, you know, I actually do get their arguments that they're a bit wary of what's going to happen with Games Workshop, Henry, Amazon, because there has been a few flops when it comes to certain genres happening over at Amazon. But I keep telling people it's all about who you have behind the scenes, the people who know the law, who respect the law, who just basically play the game. Like Henry plays the game. He collects and paints the models. He knows what Warhammer is. He understands what Warhammer is. And this is why I'm trying to get across to people that we shouldn't be scared because I think we have the right person in place to lead these projects. And I really do think they are going to bring greatness to the hobby, to the law that we all love. He literally says on from that point, like, I'm in this position now where I can bring it to the screen and it be faithful. This was one of the big reasons or the rumored reasons why he left the Witcher series because the Witcher went off book and he was like, well, there's so much detail in the Witcher series that we haven't really gone into. And you're going off book when we've all got this lore already. And you know, he came to blows with the writers and stuff because the writers who weren't fans of it wanted to do their own thing. And he was like, well, you know, not on my dime because I don't, I don't see this happening and apparently that's why he left. So to have someone like that who respects the law, respects the IP, who's not really got to go off on their own type of, you know, story when the story's there in front of you, I think that is an absolute massive win. This is what we should be looking forward to, to have someone like this in a position going to show Warhammer as Warhammer is supposed to be shown up. Anyway, I just wanted to bring this in view to your attention. Sorry for my little um, Henry uh, love rant for a couple of minutes there. Uh, but really, right, people, if you're scared, just watch this. Just, just look at the passion in his eyes, right? Look deep 
inside of Ol's eyes. And you can see that he is a Warhammer fan. We have a Warhammer fan who knows the law, who respects the law. I'm sorry, I'm just echoing everything. He, he, he loves it. He literally loves Warhammer. And I really do think that if this all does go forward, we are about to see greatness, right? We are, right? Write it down clip this if it all comes to disaster then you can all blame me all right i will clearly take the blame if it crumbles but if it rises if it rises like the legions of old then look to this right this is when the beacons were lit henry i can't wait to see more of these press tours hopefully if there's more people out there if you know anyone who's about to interview henry please ask more warhammer questions we need all the glorious details we can get at this point anyway enough waffling thanks for coming uh thanks for watching make sure you check out the full interview in the link uh sorry in the it's linked in the description of this video see ya have a great day and bye bye